Making rope with mother-in-law's tongue. You can't believe how many users sticks and grass has, eh? The grass, even for food, they use the grass to keep, uh, like a table, just to keep food and stuff off the sand. Now he just scrape it like that with his digging stick to get the fibers out because he, he needs to use the fibers, fibers to make the rope. They can make extremely strong rope with this uh, fibers, it's unbelievable. Uh, they use, uh, they don't use this rope for the uh, bow and arrow. Yes, they do, the they do. The same rope, mm -hmm. not uh, they or something. <laughs> he says, then you roll it on your leg. He says, he often look at the hair on men, on white men's legs and he think, he wonder how sore it will be for them to he make this do rope. Do <laughs> Yeah, it's I mean, front work here. <laughs> yes. He said he thinks maybe your hair will go into the rope. Hopefully, <laughs> make it make strong. It'll be like Wax spreading. Yeah. You know, they spread your eyebrows. <laughs> Look how he rolls it, and then he makes another piece and roll it inside that piece. And it's unbelievable how strong this rope is. Ah, ah, they just roll it on the leg. He's only going to make a small piece for us, just for, but they will add pieces until it's long enough or they add pieces until it's thick enough. Just depends what you want to use it for. Do you, do you think it, that this is better than using a bear bar? Yeah, so the, the guys here, I've never even seen them make with a bear bar because there's none in Hanzi here. He says, Gareth, try and break my rope. Strong, eh? So strong, yeah. So because he says many times people think his rope is small and weak, but it's a strong rope and it can really kill a, a, a quarry buster. Add more and more and more. Yeah, until it's long enough.